Hello everyone, welcome to problem 2.20 of David Griffith's Electrodynamics. So, this problem states that we have these two um, electric fields described by these two equations A and B. One of them is an impossible electrostatic field. And so it asks us to find which one. Now, when we find the one that is a possible electrostatic field, they want us to check by finding the potential of the electric field and then um, checking that the, uh, the field we, it is correct by taking the gradient of the potential um, to get back the electric field. All right, so let's check. So to figure out if it's a possible electrostatic field, well, we know that electrostatic fields have a curl of zero. So let's start with electric field A. So if you forget how to take the curl, so for A, let's just say for A, um, the curl, so we'll say the curl of E, we'll call this E1, E2. The curl of E1, so, K is a constant, it's gonna come out, um, but it's basically gonna be the determinant of this matrix. So we have X hat, Y hat, Z hat, derivative with respect to X, derivative with respect to Y, derivative with respect to Z. Then we put the components of the field here. So X component is XY, Y component is 2YZ, Z component is 3XZ, and then we just compute the determinant of this three by three matrix. So let's let's do that real quick. So we have um, for the first component. So for the x hat component, we have the derivative with respect to y of this. Well, that's going to be zero minus the derivative with respect to z of um, this. So derivative with respect to two y z. That's two y. So we have two y x hat, I did that right, right? It's been a while, so that minus that. So zero minus, uh, yeah, two y. Let me just make sure I wrote everything down. Yep, okay, cool. And then minus the y hat component, so derivative respect to x of this is, uh, 3z minus, so 3z minus 0, so 3z y hat, so I can already tell this is not going to be a 0 uh, curl because we're already having components for each. And then plus this, so 0 um, minus x. The minus x z hat. So this is basically we found that the curl is not zero. The curl is some vector field, and so not zero. This is not a possible electrostatic field. So let's move on to B. So for B, let's kind of do the same thing. So we know I'm just going to replace the components. So essentially, it's the derivative with respect to x of so the derivative with respect to y of the z component. Um, let me just actually let me just write this out so I'm gonna get confused. So the curl of E2. So we have K. When in doubt, just write it out, write out, do the math, you know. You can't get it wrong if you do that. Well, you can. I've I've gotten it wrong many times <laughs> doing the math. Okay, so we have y squared x, 2xy plus z squared, running on the room here and then uh, 2yz. Okay, so uh, boom, that's gonna be 2z minus 2z, so that's gonna be zero, x hat. And then we have um, zero minus zero, so we have zero y hat, looking good. And then derivative x of that is 
2y minus 2y, so that's 0. So plus 0z hat, and we have a 0 uh, curl, which means this is a valid electrostatic field. So now let's calculate... Um, Let's calculate the potential along some path. So I'm going to use a new sheet of paper here. So let's, let me just draw this out real quick. So let's say we have a coordinate system. And our electrostatic field exists in this, in this uh, space. And we want to calculate the potential at some arbitrary point. So remember this is the z, uh, this is x, this is the y. So let's say we went x naught, uh, uh, you know, we went x naught on the x uh, axis. We went y naught um, Let's kind of draw some dotted lines here. So we went y naught along the y axis here, and then we went up to a point z naught. So basically, we've gone in this shape here. This is the point, this is the, the direction we've traveled, the, the line we've traveled. We want to know what the potential is here. What is the potential of this point x naught, uh, y naught, z naught? Well, the potential, V, is equal to um, minus the integral of E dot dl. from, you know, A to B. And our A here is going to be, you know, our starting point is 0, 0, or 0, 0, 0, and our ending point is x naught, uh, y naught, uh, z naught. So we're going to compute this integral. We're going to split this entire integral into three sections. We're going to compute the integral along this path, and we're going to do the integral along this path, and then along this path, because you can split integrals up over a sum. And so, let's see, e dot dl, so dl in this case, right, dl is just going to be dx x hat plus dy y hat plus dz uh, z hat, that's dl as a vector. So in our electric field is the one that is, is the equation b, so e dot dl, let's calculate that real quick. Is going to be um, y squared dx plus 2xy plus z squared uh, dy plus 2yz dz. And don't forget about the k. So we'll just put the k out front here or out on the front there, um, where k is just a constant. So let's compute uh, th this integral for e dot dl along this path here. So, so uh, path one. So along this path, we know that y is equal to z is equal to zero. So y along this path, y and z are zero. So e dot dl um, is just equal to k y squared. So let's just say e dot dl. is equal to k y squared dx, but uh, y along this path is zero, so this is zero. All right, so along path two, e dot dl, well, first of all, we know along path two, so x is gonna be equal to x naught here, and we're integrating with respect to y here, or we're, um, yeah, we're integrating with respect to y. And we didn't have to do an integral here because 
you know, y was zero along this path. So we didn't have to do an integral. It was just automatically zero. But here, x is equal to x naught along this path. y is y, and, and z is zero. So z is still zero in this case. So let's see. Um, so e dot dl. is going to be equal to k, because we still have the k times the y component, so 2xy plus z squared dy. However, we know z is 0, so what we really have is k 2k x naught y dy. So this is e dot dl along that second path. And so if we integrate that with respect to y, from y equals 0 to y equals y naught, I can, you can probably just do this in your head. So the integral from y is equal to 0 to y is equal to y naught, we'll integrate with respect to y of 2k x naught y dy is kx naught y squared, 2kx naught y squared over 2, well, that cancels the 2, so we have kx naught y naught squared. So this is our second component here, or this is our second part of the, uh, the, the potential. Right, our potential is going to be a sum of these three integrals we're doing. We're basically just sprinting, splitting this whole integral over a summation of three different separate integrals. So our first part is zero plus this. So right now we have just this. Now we have to calculate the last part. So for the last path, so path three, we know that x naught or x is equal to x naught here and y is equal to y naught and z is our integration variable all right and dx is equal to dy is equal to zero there's no change along the x or y directions in this case and e dot dl Is just going to be minus k, or sorry, not minus k, uh, but what's the x component? I'm losing my track here. Um, here we go. 2y, so k times 2y z dz. I should say y not here. All right, so now let's just do the integral real quick. So the integral of 2y0 times k z dz uh, from z is equal to 0 to z is equal to z0. So that's going to be uh, k y0 z squared over 2. It's going to cancel the 2 out front. So we just have... Um, k y naught z naught squared all right now our potential then which is a function of x naught y naught z naught our potential well our potential at the points x naught y naught z naught is just we forgot the negative sign I calculated the integral without the negative sign, but if you remember, the, the equation for the potential is negative times the integral, so let's not forget the negative. So this will be negative times um, our, let's see, we have k x naught y naught squared plus k y naught z naught squared. So this component over here 
from the integral plus this component here. And we can factor out the k, so we get minus k, so we get x naught, y naught squared, plus y naught, z naught squared. All right, and if you, and so this, our choice of point here, our x dot y dot z dot, this is completely arbitrary. I just, I just chose some random point in space. I could have moved this point anywhere around, and we can get to that. We can get to any point in space by doing exactly this: by going, you know, some amount along the x-axis, some amount along the y-axis, some amount along the z-axis. You can get to any point in space by doing that. So really, this this is really the potential for any point x, y, z due to our electric field. So really I can write, write this in terms of just x, y, z and not the x naught, y naught, um, and z naught since this is all in terms of a general, in a more general form. Now we can check though, so this is our potential, the electric potential of our electric field. How can we check if we're right? Well we know that E is equal to, uh, I think it's minus, yeah, minus gradient of V. So if we take the gradient of this and apply a minus sign, we should get back our, our original electric field. So let's check that real quick. So let's just take the gradient of V, well, minus gradient of V, so we have a minus sign out front, and so We'll pull out the k, because the k is just going to come out. And so the gradient is going to be the derivative with respect to x plus the derivative with respect to y plus the derivative with respect to z. So, so we have the derivative with respect to x of this equation. So we have y squared uh, I'm an idiot. Hang on. Wait, derivative with respect to x of this is just, yeah, y squared. I'm sorry. <laughs> so just y squared x hat plus the derivative with respect to y of this. So plus uh, 2xy plus z squared y hat plus the derivative with respect to z uh, in z hat direction. So 0 and then plus. 2yz z hat and so if you apply a minus sign we should get um, oh I forgot the minus k here the minus sign here so really there's a minus minus that's going to become a plus there we go I forgot to bring out the minus k so really the minus uh, so yeah so this is what we got before if you look um, at our starting equation, uh, y squared x hat plus 2xyz squared, y hat plus 2yz z hat, y squared x hat plus 2xy plus z squared, y hat plus 2yz z hat. So this is indeed the correct potential for our electric field. Okay, that was a little bit of a longer problem, um, but I hope that made sense. Um, and if you guys have any questions, about this problem, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Um, I respond to all comments. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and have an awesome day. Bye.